Hey, what's up? Jason here from UD3D.College. Today I want to show you how to use mesh decals in 2018.3 beta. We're going to start by creating a new project, but we're going to change the template from 3D to high definition render pipeline preview. This system only works under this high definition render pipeline, so it's not going to work for a mobile game and it's uh, oh, not going to work for anything that needs to be on the lightweight render pipeline. At least as of now, I have no idea if they have plans to extend this out and make it work on other render pipelines in the future. So we'll start with this new project. All right, so here we are in our new project with this sample scene that you can see is nicely lit with a couple different props. And it's time to create our mesh decal. Now to do that, it's actually really simple. We're gonna go under game object and then go to rendering and then choose decal projector. And we'll get the projector created automatically right here. You can see the box showing where it's gonna project but we don't have a material on there that's gonna work yet, so we need to do that next. So I'm gonna go down to the project folder, right click and create a new material. And we'll just call this decal. And then we're gonna change the shader to the HD render pipeline decal, just like that. Then we'll give it a texture. Well, let's just pick something. Let's go with our help icon for now. And then we'll assign that to our decal projector. So I've got the decal projector selected, assign that material. And there we go. Now we can see the decal applying there. I gotta pull this up just a little bit out of the ground and we can see the decal going onto the mesh. You can even see it wraps over these other objects. It's a little bit hard to tell with this decal. It may not have been the best choice, but you can see it's actually going up onto these other objects. You can kind of see the lighting right there and it's marking whatever I put it on and it kind of wraps around. Now it doesn't go perfect with walls from what I've seen. It kind of cuts off right about there. I think if we expand out the height and move it up, it'll actually go up a bit, but it's still, you know, it's not gonna be a perfect solution for that. In fact, I'm not sure what the best solution for that is, but this doesn't seem to solve that right now. But it is a very, very simple and very quick, very easy to use decal system. We're just creating decals that go up and over meshes and wrap around, look at that. Goes right up on top of there, it looks perfect. So we could use this for a targeting reticle, uh, even things, simple things like bullet holes or blood splatter, any, anything like that that we wanted to use it for. I think it would work pretty well. Again, I haven't used this in a big real project yet just because none of my actual projects are using the HD render pipeline but I plan to use it going forward on new projects. So we'll see how it goes and I'll probably report back more on this system and a bunch of other features that are in the HD render pipeline in the near future. Anyway, I hope this is helpful. Like I said, again, it's very simple to use. You just have to go to game object, rendering, and add that decal projector, and then create the material with the HD render pipeline decal shader selected. And again, only works in the HD render pipeline, so make sure you're using that. And if you, I guess, have any suggestions or questions about this decal system or just the render pipeline in general, drop a comment below. Uh, I'd love to learn more about it and just teach more about it as well. So your comments definitely help there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And have a great day.